are you thinking of investing in Africa but don't know how? Well, you have come to the right place today. We are delving into the top African stocks that you should have on your radar this year. These companies are leading the way in their respective sectors and have demonstrated consistent growth over the years. By investing in any of these stocks, you are not only supporting African businesses, but also positioning yourself for potentially lucrative returns. Welcome back, Motherland Investors. Here, we'll bring you the latest insights into the world of African investments. Please like and share this video to encourage us on our journey to educating the world on the unique opportunities available in the Motherland. Africa's recent economic growth has put it on the map when it comes to attractive markets to invest in. The continent has exciting opportunities and potential returns that are simply insane. Whether you are an investing enthusiast or looking for new avenues to grow your world, this video is for you. To put things into perspective, Africa is the last emerging market. Africa is now where China was a few decades ago. In fact, in 2000, China was the seventh richest country in the world. Fast forward 10 years later, it was the third most wealthy country in the world and now it sits comfortably in the second place. This is how Africa's emergence is going to surprise many people in the coming decades. It is important to note that all those who predicted China's remarkable rise and invested early on are billionaires today. Africa is undoubtedly on the same path as China was and the continent is exhibiting similar growth patterns. Get ready to make some smart investments as we dive into the top African stocks you should consider buying this year. Number 10. African Rainbow Minerals Limited African Rainbow Minerals is a leading South African mining company with operations in a number of African countries. The company produces a wide range of minerals and metals including platinum, copper, nickel, iron ore and gold. It was founded in 2003 by African billionaire Patrice Mosepe. The company has mines across South Africa, the DRC, and Zambia. Africa Rainbow Minerals has a market cap of $1.84 billion and it is listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. Africa Rainbow Minerals has registered a compound growth of 43% over the last three years and currently has a dividend yield of 5.91%. Owning shares in this company has the potential of making you insanely rich as the prices of these minerals are bound to skyrocket in the coming years. But 9. ShopRite Holdings Limited ShopRite Holdings is an investment holding company. Its core business is in food retailing. ShopRite is the largest food retailer in Africa. The company operates over 3,326 supermarkets and retail outlets across 15 African countries. It was founded back in 1979 in South Africa and has stood the test of time, which makes it even more appealing to investors who are looking for stability and are adverse to risk. Apart from retailing, which is the bulk of its business, the company has its hands in so many different pies on the continent, ranging from hospitality to pharmaceuticals and digital commerce in between. ShopRite currently sits at a market cap of $6.92 billion and also guarantees dividend use of at least 1.42% every year. Number 8. Sanlam Limited Sanlam is a leading non-banking financial services provider in Africa. It is Africa's largest insurance company and is listed on both the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and the Namibian Stock Exchange markets. The group has a presence in 33 African countries as well as India and Malaysia. Its headquarters are in Western Cape, South Africa, where it has operated since its inception in 1918. The company provides a broad range of products including life insurance, short-term and long-term savings and investments, as well as other financial services. Sanlam has been paying dividends to its shareholders since 2003 and it has a current dividend yield of 4.99%. Needless to mention that it has been on a steady rise these past years, and it is also predicted to do even better in the coming years. You can't go wrong with this investment. Number 7. Sasol Limited Sasol Limited is a chemicals and energy company that specializes in generating low-carbon electricity. The company provides thousands of jobs around the globe. So far this year, it has already reported an incredible revenue of $18.8 billion. 
It's the largest corporate taxpayer in the whole of South Africa, demonstrating its share strength in the market. Sasol has a market cap of $8.5 billion. Sasol Limited sponsors multiple sports teams, including the South African women's football team and the men's wheelchair basketball team. Sasol Limited is also listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, making it a great option for those looking to invest in the Johannesburg Stock Exchange Top 40 companies. This is one to watch very closely. Number 6, we have Aspen Pharmacare, a leading pharmaceutical company on the continent. Aspen Pharmacare specializes in branded and generic medicines, as well as infant nutrition products. The company has a global footprint and has been able to export its products to over 150 countries worldwide. As healthcare becomes an increasing important industry in Africa, investing in Aspen Pharmacare can offer exposure to the continent's growing healthcare needs as well as potential innovations. The healthcare sector is predicted to make millionaires in the coming years in Africa. Maybe you can be one of them. If Zenith Bank now, let's look at one in the financial sector, specifically Zenith Bank, one of Nigeria's leading banks. Zenith Bank has consistently delivered a strong financial performance, driven by its robust retail and corporate banking operations. The bank has also expanded its presence internationally and embraced digital banking to cater to the evolving needs of its customers. With Nigeria being the largest economy in Africa, investing in Zenith Bank allows you to tap into the country's growth potential as well as the continent's rising middle class. Zenith Bank stocks are one of those that you can't ignore. Moving to our next stock, we have Safaricom, Kenya's leading telecommunications company. Safaricom is best known for its flagship product, Mpesa a mobile money payment service that has revolutionized financial transactions in Africa. With over 42 million customers, Safaricom's dominance in the Kenyan market gives it a competitive edge. The company is also investing heavily in expanding its mobile and broadband networks, positioning itself for future growth that are unimaginable. 3. Vanek Africa Index if you are looking for a single one-stop shop for access to African stocks, the Vanek Africa Index ETF is a solid choice. Abbreviated AFT, the share price is at $21.45 at the moment, which is relatively cheap. AFK invests in the shares of African companies, which refers here to firms that are incorporated in Africa, as well as firms incorporated outside of Africa but that have at least 50% of their revenues or related assets in the African continent. This ETF is heavily weighted to financial stocks, which make up 32% of the portfolio. But also, it has a healthy allocation to basic materials and telecommunications with weights of 29% and 21% respectively. It holds most of the stocks mentioned previously above, and also the likes of Morocco's Achi Jawarifa Bank, and the British multinational miner Anglo-American. This is Africa's equivalent of the S&P 500. You can't go wrong with this one. We have Naspas Limited, a multinational consumer internet company headquartered in South Africa. Naspas is known for its significant investments in digital ventures across various sectors, such as e-commerce, online classifiers, and food delivery. This company has a track record of identifying high growth opportunities and has been one of the early investors in companies like Chinese giant Tencent and Flipkart. Naspers specializes in technological innovation. Its revenue currently sits at $22.1 billion, making it a viable consideration for any investor. Naspers owns more than half of Proceus, South Africa's largest publishing company as well as South Africa's largest online retailer. This makes Naspers a major player in the world economy and one you should consider buying stocks in. The number one stock on this list is the MTN Group, a telecommunications company that has established itself as a leader in the African market. With a presence in many African countries, MTN Group provides voice, data and digital services to millions of customers. The company has demonstrated resilient growth driven by increased mobile phone penetration and the rising demand for data services. 
As Africa continues to embrace digitalization, investing in MTN can be a smart move for long-term growth. MTN Group has leveraged the increasing demand for mobile services and internet connectivity across Africa. MTN has also recently ventured into fintech and it is dominating the market with its mobile payment service called MomoPay. The company's strategic investments in infrastructure, innovative offerings and customer-centric approach have positioned it as a market leader in the telecommunications industry in Africa. Now that you know what stocks to buy, you can either buy shares directly from the company or through a stock broker. You can also invest in ETFs that track some of these African stocks. But before you invest in any stocks, it's important to do your own research. Make sure you understand the risk involved and make sure you are comfortable with the potential for losses. And always remember, past performance does not guarantee future results. So, which of these companies are you likely to invest in? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you found value in this video, subscribe for more. See you in the next one.